Hi everybody, today we're going to be trying to learn The Girl from Ipanema. So, I'm showing you a very simple version. Uh, hopefully you can translate it over to a, a more mature sounding version on your own or or pick up from what from the end of this video. But So to start out, you're going to be using um, four fingers total, two in each hand. I'm making these little V's just so I can show you the parts. And uh, so, first think about the song in terms of its chunks. So, the first chunk is an intro. And the intro is going to be played, it's an F major 9, really. But we're just going to be playing this F uh, major 7. So you've got an F, an A, a C, and an E. And that's the first chord. And then you're going to be moving these bottom two notes up a half step each. To F sharp and A sharp. And these two notes stay where they are. And you just sort of repeat that a couple times, that's your intro, so it's like this. Can you hear it already? Tall and ten and well, that's the first. So that's your intro. That little move between here, and then you're gonna go into your verse, and your verse is going to be some sort of version of this F. Some people play it like this. Uh, I think it. For now, we'll just keep it this F major seven. Tall and ten and young and lovely the. So you just sort of play that F twice as long as you were in the verse. F. A, C, and E. So I'm going to start over. Here's the verse. Tall and ten and young and lovely the. When you say girl, these two fingers are going to go up one white note each, one whole step, to a G and a B. And these are going to sort of jump to here. So the top note, this E, that, that you were playing in the first chord on the top, now your left finger is going to play, and this one's going to play a G. So let's see if there's a simpler way to say that. Tall and tan and young and lovely the... And then jump. Girl, girl from me, Ipanema goes walking in. So G, B, E, and G. And then these two fingers are going to slide down a whole step to D and F. And this finger on a B is going to slide down to a B flat. And then this finger on the G is going to slide down to a G flat, and these are going to slide down two more white notes. Half step to E here, and a whole step to C here. And that, you can see that's the second chord in the intro. And then the end of the verse is just sliding these two notes down a half step to F and A. Each one she passes goes ooh. I put up and say so gentle something something but you boop 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 So that's pretty much the verse. I'm gonna quickly run through it and then jump to the next part because I only have ten minutes total here. So um F a, C, E is the first chord. G, B, E, and G. G, B flat, D, and F. G flat, uh, B flat, C, and E. Then back to that F. Then this part that breaks down like this, oops, um, you're going to go up to that, uh, the F sharp and the A sharp, like the second part of the intro, with your left hand, and your right hand you're going to be playing a C sharp and an F. Then you're going to be playing what's a, really a B7. Doo -doo. But in your left hand it's an A, a B, and in your right hand, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, so that that little two part moving the, into the bridge. Ooh, I want 
her so badly. Then you're gonna go. How? That's A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. How can I tell her I love her? So this part is a little bit. I'm gonna show you. It's a bit of a jump, but I'm gonna show you the best way to get there. You're already at A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. What you're gonna sort of do is uh, the bottom notes from each hand, this A and this E, are gonna become the top notes once you move. And then you're just gonna play this F sharp as the new bottom, and this C as the new bottom in your right hand. So you go from from an A, a C sharp, an E, and a G sharp, to an F sharp, an A, a C, and an E. Now you're going to be playing an A sharp, a D, an F, and an A. So similarly, when in the a couple of chords ago, the bottom notes became the top notes. Here they will do that again. That becomes there, and you play a G, and this F becomes the top note, and you play a C sharp. Whoops, sorry, shook the camera. Don't shake the camera. And then the final sequence is going to be a sort of an A, like an A minor. Cause he's when she walks through the sea. I'm just doing the fancy version. I'll just do the simple version. A, A minor. So that's A, C, E, and A. Actually, let's put a G here instead. A, C, E, and G. Then you're going to be playing a D7. C, D, F sharp, A. Cause each day when she walks to the sea, she looks straight ahead. So, looks is G, A sharp, B, and F. She looks straight ahead, not at me. And you'll notice that once you start that, she looks, it looks familiar to sort of something that's in the first verse. Looks straight ahead, not at me. F sharp, A sharp, C. E, and then slide these back down, and where are we? We're right back at the beginning. 